and my bye. As you probably have seen online, there's a lot of great YouTube content out there revolving around uh, value, cheap, guitar, amazing. And on my channel, we take things too far. Sort of what I try to do with everything I do. So, uh, I found a two dollar guitar. So this is the two cheap, not good. I would actually argue that this is not worth it. Mainly because we don't need more mass produced plastic pieces of shit. But also because it is including a pick though. Intonation wise, it's just... I have no idea. It's weird to play. You can't tune it whatsoever. One string is two strings. So the string goes down and up again. So on two, it's just one string. So if I tune this one, that one is affected. And they are also jumping back. So if I try to tune it, I don't know if I can show that. You see? Like it goes back but i figured that musician's value isn't based on how great the musician is based on uh, playing great with the great uh, ness a great musician can polish a third no boo bad let's listen to it first tiny bit just record so you can hear uh, stuff so here's a drum beat what could you do to this drum beat with something as random as this well, you could you could play random, I guess. There could be a thing. Here, I wanna try to put a pickup on it or something. I'm not sure. Wow! Love it. <laughs> Don't love this. It's not worth it. I wonder what happens if we do like a bass to it. No, not, oh yeah. I feel like if you're gonna do something with something that is this shitty, the trick is to get fucking emotional. So maybe something like that to begin with. Right? We got something. I am really curious about these screws here. So let's uh, unscrew them and see what happens. Or maybe ooh, it's just the fret. Holy man. Oh, boy. I can open it. Let's use that to our advantage. We take a piezo and we try to fiddle the piezo inside. Let's go with this freshly modified aqueduct pedal that is now a lo-fi vibrato delay. Okay, uh, what now? We add a bass, I guess. So when I put down some chords, I'm gonna put down some bass. Uh, sadly, it's in between keys or what I, like it's, uh, it's not that one and it's not that one. So it's in between half steps. So I can't really put down keys. I would need to transpose. However, I don't have to because this one has a pitch knob. So we can set it slightly where it needs to be.
we can do with some fun pedal. This video is all about exploring. Nothing about like trying to get a finished thing going or anything like that. Just seeing what happens. I don't know if you could pick that up at all, but that was kind of cool. Oh, I can talk into. Hello. 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 Okay, I am officially giving up on this one. Kind of cool, kind of fun, not super inspiring. I think I can glue it back. This is kind of cool though. Whammy! It's got a whammy now! Sound effect wise, that might actually be surprising. <laughs> Fuck yeah! So now I have a unique instrument that I have DIY. Great! Whatever we're gonna call this, the boingy. It's not the whammy, it's the boingy. Uh, yeah. All I can say is that uh, creativity is priceless.